how was I supposed to know how to manage my money? <laughs> Guys, join me while I share with you the three money mistakes that nearly broke me. Okay, let's just jump right into it, okay? Mistake number one that I made was the shiny object syndrome. You've had that? Like you see all of these things that you want, you be like, oh, I got to have that. Oh, oh, I got to have that new feature. Oh, oh, I got to have that new software. Oh, I got to have this new notebook, right? I got to have this new planner. Like I was like a planner a, a junkie, right? The shiny object syndrome of buying these little things that basically you don't need right now, it really will keep you broke because you're spending your money on things that really can't bring you any kind of return for the right now. So here's what I had to start doing. I had to start creating like a wish list of the things that I want. And I it's almost like a Christmas list to yourself. And so I will write these little notes in my in my my notebook, right? And say, here's my wish list of things that I want. And as money would come in, then I would purchase those things. Or if someone asked me like, what did you want for your birthday? Or what do you want for Christmas? Then I would go back to my list and say, okay, I want this. Okay, this is how I got my ring light, right? This fancy ring light it was cause it was on my wish list. So the shiny object thing, let that go so that you can maneuver money into other areas. The second mistake that I was doing was that I was holding on to things like subscriptions that I wasn't using. So like some of you might have signed up for like magazine subscriptions that you don't even have time to read the magazines. I, I had that, right? So I had to cancel those. Or maybe you are, um, You've signed up for a monthly membership and it has great training in there. And you know it has great training in there. And you're like, oh, but I can't let it go because you know, this is like, I got in on the ground level and if I cancel my membership, then the price is gonna go up. See, that's what keeps you broke because if you're not using it and there is no return of investment, the ROI of it, then we need to let it go. Just say this, and this is what I had to say to myself too, was, okay, when I'm ready for this, if the cost is more, that means that I am generating more money so that I can just pay the increased price. And nine times out of 10, sometimes it, the price might not even go up. So what am I even worried about? But let it go because right now I'm not using it and it's just sitting there with no type of return of investment. The number three thing is something that most of us probably have because especially if we are solopreneurs and we've been bootstrapping our business for so long, is that the penny pitching. Like we just, ooh, just hold that penny so much trying to just to get out the last little brown little bronze from that penny that we don't get the things that we need. So we're always looking for something free, free sign up, free tribe, uh, tribe. <laughs> free trial, those type of things. And really what we need are extra features to make our job a lot easier. So maybe you signed up for an email service, right? That allows you to have 2000 free subscribers, but there were features that you really, really need. And so you're just trying to like hack it, right? You're trying to work around the system. And basically it's just causing you more frustration. So penny pension can really keep you broke and not help you generate any kind of the money that you really want in your business. And that literally almost broke me. So here's the things that I had to do with the three mistakes. Okay. I told you I had to write a, a wish list. Okay. And I did that. I started writing my wish list of things I needed. I started looking at the things that I had uh, been subscribing to and say, have you used this in the last year or six months? If I had not even went into the account and looked at or 
I don't know, taking a course, then I had to let it go. And then the third thing about pen and pension, if there was a feature that I needed in my business right now or needed in the next two weeks, then I needed to upgrade and not always look for the free stuff because guys, the free stuff is got some limitations for a reason because it's like enticing you to, <laughs> to upgrade to the next level. So don't do those three mistakes. Don't do that. Just look at your finances, look at what's going on in your business and make real business minded decisions and investments that are going to move your business forward. So with that said, I do have some manifesting methods to help you bring in the money that you need to actually uh, buy these new extra things. So what I need for you to do is to go to alicemichelle.com forward slash money loves me and download my 10 money loves me manifesting methods okay so these techniques are really going to help you change the way you think about money the way you speak about money and how you attract money right good stuff so again guys go to alicemichelle.com forward slash money loves me to download my 10 money loves me manifesting methods all right, so as you guys are coming in, watching my videos, which I am so grateful that you guys are and thankful that you guys are watching my videos. But if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you are listening to this on the podcast, go ahead and subscribe to the show. All right, guys, so thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace out.